In the near future, people will have to leave this place. This is unprecedented. In living memory, this lake has never been so high. It has taken the clinic, it has taken the stores, the offices. Nilijenga vizuri kwenye makawa yangu yenye nilipata alafu maji ikaanja kutoka kwa umbali huko leki ya nakuru hiyo sasa ilikuwa inasonga step by step kila wiki mwezi inaisha imemaliza mwaka kama inasonganga pole pole mwishowe mwezi wa 9 jikuta maji imesafika kama hapa kwa nyumba kesho yake nilihama bila hata yaani unahama bila habari hujajipanga Sasa hiyo ndio unasikianga tulikuwa leo tajiri na kesho ukaamuko kwa masikini. Kwa sababu sasa umepoteza piloti yako na umerudi ume kukua maisha yako ya umasikini. Kenye ndoto yako enye ilikuwa ilikuwa na taragia pombele. Kujipanga vile unaesaishi. Sasa imesa sambaratika hivyo. There is a real environmental disaster that could happen, which is Lake Baringo and Lake Bagoria, which is alkaline, merging. This freshwater lake would turn into an alkaline lake and all the people for miles around would not have a fresh water source. It would have tremendous implications for the flora, the fauna, all the aquatic life. Most of the fields have submerged. These are pastoralists and they rely on grasses, so they have to move to other places. We have three communities and they are not friendly. When they start pressuring each other on grazing lands, then conflicts will start. I've never seen anybody who has got the financial assistance from the government. They would always say, we've set aside such a billion for people. But these billions to trickle down is a problem. If they are helping the affected people, it should come right now, not when it is too late. If you just lose your means of income generation, that's one thing, because you can adapt to that and you might be able to find a job or find another field. But once you lose everything to your home, your school, your clinic, your road, then it's an impossible situation. Then you become an environmental migrant. Hapa ndiyo kwangu kwenye nilikuja kurenji kama maji imenyamisha kwa makao. Sanyesanye kidogo vile mmeona hiyo bagi yangu hivyo. Sasa nione kama huyo mwisa yani mwisho ya mwezi ikifika kama inaesafikia kulipa hiyo nyumba hii. Hii nyumba yenye inaishi ndani. Mahitaji yangu yote nimeweka hapa. Sina hali pengine hiyo ndio inanisutua sasa paka saa zingine zidani. Naweza jikuta mwezi inaenda ikuisha na uko na 1500 sasa unashindwa hii 1000 ingine na 500 mtatoa wapi hiyo nyumba nimeshughulika na mikono yangu tu miwili mimi mumama kupitia kwa hivi hasara kwa use wangu nitakuwa tu hata wakinisaidia pesa ya sabuni na, na, na unga si ni kwa na kwangu sitakuomba si pesa ya nyumba na nimeseeka sasa hapo ndio naona mimi nimeseeka na si nilikuwa na kwangu kwangu kumeenda sasa mimi naenda wapi 